everybody, this is Committee Gaming. I'm Flute5311. And I'm so sorry. And we're going to do this a little bit different. We've had trouble in the past trying to get our Let's Talks up. And, you know, uh, Twitch allows you to take your broadcasts and port them straight over to YouTube. And we thought, you know what, that just might be easier. <laughs> yeah. Let, let somebody else's servers do the work. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on before, but it was just, it was so unhappy. It would not send our Let's Talk through. It, like, I even tried cutting it into pieces and it still didn't do it. I don't know. So yeah. So so we're gonna try this. So we're gonna give it a shot, uh, which is kind of neat. So it's live. So uh, if anybody can join in, come in, ask questions. Nobody's here quite yet, but if anybody does come in, you can take questions, which I think will be, which could be fun. Yeah. So is there so anything I have to do extra for this? Like, I'm looking, like, I'm just curious, Wes, because I have it broadcasting, but should I be like clicking on something to make sure that it, like saves the broadcast? Shouldn't it sh our our broadcast should be safe. Okay, cool. In theory. Works for me. In theory. In theory. All right. So, yeah. So, we're just going to hang out. We're going to do um, some of these, you know, bounties that we got to do, and then um, just kind of chat it up while we're doing that. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. I'm thinking um, a bit more so fluid, we... too. Yeah. So, we've got a ton of things that have happened. <laughs> yeah. Since we've done one of these, one of these things, um, House of Wolves has dropped. There's things to do. There's so many things to do. As a matter of fact, that I just don't even know where to start. I think that's one of the big things. The first things that I kind of want to talk about is just, you know, everybody was complaining about there's nothing to do. There's nothing to do in the game. I'm so bored now. Well, now there's so much to do. You literally. It would almost be a full-time job just to keep up with this. Yeah, and I, <clears throat> I only work a part-time, a part-time job at the moment, and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to keep up with this stuff, and I'm having difficulties. Like, I don't complete everything every week, just because you have and you the three person of elders for three characters, which is just that's insane in itself because how difficult the person of elders have yeah. been. And then you have the nightfalls, which are, which are relatively quick to do so we usually we usually bang those up pretty early on and then uh we have iron banner going on this week so you have that big thing going on which takes which is very grind heavy and you only have the week to do it and then you have uh trials of osiris on the weekend so it's just it's there's so much it's crazy and you forgot the weeklies and the dailies and <laughs> See, I only hit the so big. I only hit the big things. It was there's still and so all much. the kill missions that Petra gives us, which she gave us a new one this week, which was cool. We'll talk about that here in a second. Yeah. But there's just so much, so much to do, and it you really can't keep up with it. You know, we've been talking about it. Um, but you could take us wherever we need to go first. All right, uh, you're you're yeah. driving the school bus. So we got the moth yards. We got the moon. If we want to wait for the wolves to show up. Yeah, didn't matter to me. We'll just go, we'll kill stuff, do missions, and All right. we'll go. Uh, so yeah, we'll do the moth yards. Let's get that one done. So there's just so much going on. Um, it, it's really, you know, we were talking about it in our little group the other day about how, you know, we, we've all been in a mindset of completing everything every week, you know. And, yeah. and now Bungie's given us so much that we're still in that <laughs> mindset of, I have to keep, I have to do it all. I have to do it all. I have to do it all. And it's it's almost impossible if you do anything else besides this. You like you know you have right. to have a job somewhere else. You're not going to get it done. I and mean, we didn't even talk about the raid. Which I would love to go back to do a 34 raid uh, or a 33 raid on Crota or a hard mode vault of glass and just uh, hard mode OP, hard mode fun. Oh my god, it'd be so entertaining. So I mean, yeah, especially now we can go back there with our yeah our, our our maxed out 365. Fault of glass weapons, mm -hmm. uh, which arguably are the best weapons in the game, the best legendaries in the game, anyway. The vault of the uh, so, uh, what is it? The vision of confluence is now the new vision of confluence. It's, 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 yes, the vision of confluence is the new vision of confluence. It's, oh man, <laughs> been so amazing. Uh, it's what every auto rifle wants to be. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's, it's just uh, so much to do, and so what do you all think? I mean, what are, you, what are your all thoughts? Where are you all right now? I mean, we're all, I think everybody's in the, kind of the same boat. They're so busy. I mean, we've only done, the last two weeks, we've done level 35 once. And I think that's about all we can handle. Um, 
this week we 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 got in there. We were there for about four hours. Um, we didn't get it done. It was getting pretty late. Um, I wish we had a checkpoint. That's something that I want to talk about. Checkpoints yeah. in Prison of Elders. What do you think? Uh, I I I think I we talked about this before, and I feel like that the they didn't expect it to be this difficult. They didn't expect like us to have this much trouble with them, and t for it to take this long to do one of these that they took the checkpoints out. And at granted, at the same time, they don't want it to be another. Who's who, uh, people running around on the forums Raid, looking right. looking for? Yeah, the the boss checkpoint because they don't want to do the rest of it and they just want to do like hard mode Atheon checkpoint. You know what I mean? Right, right. And, and so and, and we see that. Believe us, we see that. We understand that. Although granted, we we were you know just like everybody else. We're we we're, were checkpoint hunting there for a while when you and I were both hunting for our vexes. Yep. Um. But. Gosh, I would sure love to, you know, just be able to sit back and take a break for a little bit. Uh, you know, come back into it fresh. You know, again, we were there for four hours trying to kill, um, just made the trying to kill Crota the other night, or not Crota, <laughs> Skolas. <laughs> Skolas, yep. Um, and we almost had it a handful of times, you know, with the Void Burn. Um, we were so close that one time. We just got turn. tired, and I had to be, you know, we had to, some of us had to be up early the next mornings, and it's just, yeah, it just can't be done. Um, so it's disappointing. I wish, hopefully, at some point they will um, they'll introduce such thing or something, something that makes it fair, right? So that we could, that it's still earned by those who did it, but at the same time, you know, gosh, give us a little bit of a break. Right. And I think you're right. You know, as as you mentioned, that they didn't expect it to be so hard. Um, at least some of these encounters are not supposed to be. Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, it's got to be right. They had to plan on it being that hard, but maybe they just didn't plan on it. Things so time consuming. I don't know. I'm not sure where where the thoughts are. I'm okay that it's hard. I don't mind that it's hard, but it's just I need to be able to step back every now and then and take a breather and maybe come back fresh. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's like doing it all in one foul swoop sometimes takes hours and hours, and a lot of times you have people who can't get on until very late. So it's just by the time you're at the boss, you're exhausted. And you have, and you only have, a, yeah. you have a time constraint, which is in the back of your mind at this, at that point. Um, so that that like holds you back. That keeps your mind split. So you're not fully focused on it. You're tired. So again, not fully focused on it. So it's just, it's just, it's difficult because it's just scheduling. You know, scheduling itself. Never mind how difficult yeah. the actual encounter well, is. Yeah. Although, I mean, it is nice, right? It is, they made it a little, as far as sketching, but they made it a little bit nicer with the three-person raid or the three-person event. But, it, you know, we are, you know, we're pretty much split now. Uh, our groups are all kind of divided up. Um, you know, we've got the three that we run, the, you know, our three that we run with um, and the other groups that just kind of put themselves together when they can. And it's just, again, that that's where the other raids come in, right? You go back, you play the old raids for all times. They get the band back together. Maybe that's what... Um, you know, Iron Banner will help, has been helping as well. I know a lot of us have been getting and getting back in fours and fives, and it's kind of bringing stuff back together to do the Iron Banner event. Yep, I, um, I agree. It, it has fractured our group quite a bit, and that, that gets frustrating. It does, because it's like you, you're you used to just this whole big group going in, you have all these friends that you game with all the time, and it's just... Now, now you start like narrowing it down to... Like the people that you want to do it with, ninety percent of the time. You know what I mean? Like, like we wind up drawing drawing lines that I never actually wanted to draw. Yeah, yep, yep, and that's and that's hard. And that's hard because it, it really, it, you know, with a three person group, it really does. You know, when you have six people, you can carry one or two. You know, you or if you've got people who are. Um, if someone's got a bad attitude that night, which, you know, we all do. We all have nights where we're like, oh, I'm just so done with this. And you're just kind of, everybody gets to be a little bit toxic every now and then. Yeah. That, you know, that that one person will completely lay the group down. Um, yeah, because you can't. Now, you know, TV. if you've got three people in a group, especially, or that, or a trials of Osiris, man, if you're that, if you're, um, if you've got one person in a group that's just having a bad day, it really drags down the rest of the team pretty quick. And that's unfortunate, but you know that's say lobby. Whatever that is, that's what it is. Um, 
So let's talk about Prison of Elders. So that's been the most fun thing, at least for me anyway. I know you're going to talk about trials. So that's been where you where you've been living. Mm -hmm. um, but well, we've been open on the on the, on the trial on, on the prison. But man, I've had a really good time. There are two things that I that, that kind of bug me. Uh, well, I guess three. One of them being the matchmaking. But I've really, really enjoyed it. I think it's a super fun mode. Um, you know, you and I played a lot of um, Extinction with with um, with Call of Duty Ghosts. This is similar to that. You know, just a couple key objectives here and there, and it's just staying alive and, and trying to figure out the best ways to do that. Yeah. And um, oh, just so I, you know, I love it. Just so you know, <laughs> the wolves are here. <clears throat> I'm on my way. Um, but yeah, no, I love, I absolutely love it. Like, it's a, it's really fun. It's very challenging. Um, it's very challenging. But, it, but the thing is, it keeps it from being boring in that sense too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are, there are some things that I'm going to talk about that I think they need to dial back a little bit. Um, I, I do, I, the, the Vex room can be just completely overwhelming. That room, you know, when you get all of those yellow bar hobgoblins out there, or goblins, yeah, hobgoblins, just sniping you to death, because then you combine that with grounded, and you're just like, I, you cannot get a break. Right. You, know, you can't kite away from anything, and you know, you always have, you always seem to have grounded in there with the Vex, which is fine. That that makes the most sense for the snipers and everything else. But you just cannot get a break. Um, without getting blown out of the sky, um, or the shields, you know, when you have to kill the VIPs this week, it's almost impossible to kill those VIPs with all the uh, yellow bar minotaurs that come with it. Yep. And so that's something that I think that they could take a second. You know what, they should just have Randall the Vandal show up right now. That's really all they really need. Yeah. Just ran Randall the Vandal it up and we're good. You know what I mean? Alright. Like Rand Randall, Randall. I went over there and killed him just for nostalgia's sake. Um, <laughs> and he was his uh, his ultra state, and it was it was entertaining. I think I wasted. Like, I do not. I'm still looking around. Um, okay. I think I spent like a uh, fist of havoc, like five Galahorn rounds. And then just miscellaneous fire to take him down. It, it, like, it took forever. Oh, jeez, where is this thing? My time's gonna run out before I find I it. Know. Well, granted, you can only get it yeah, once now, but... So, yeah, so it doesn't matter as much. But anyway, uh, so, yeah, that, thanks, Patch Notes. Uh, but we do get... Um, so there were, what, the little side trick group with the new exotic, the, the Celestial, Celestial Nighthawk, there was a YouTube video, and it was on Reddit's where a guy, you know, he posted this video about with the Celestial Nighthawk and Randall Band, like, you know, Celestial Nighthawk downs Crota in one shot, kicks out gatekeepers, does all these things, and then he walks up to Randall and Vandal, Randall and Vandal, shoots him with Celestial Nighthawk, and he only goes down, the, he only drops like a fifth of his health. <laughs> yep. Um, and, and all the comments were like, one of these days, this is going to be, you know, Skull also is going to call in sick. And it's just going to be Randall the Vandal walks with this, you know, five foot Vandal walks out of the giant ball. <laughs> he's like, sup guys? He has, and you know, no modifiers. It's just him by himself. And it's, it's, it's a four hour encounter. <laughs> yeah. Just because putting damage on him takes that long. Not, not even that we're like getting pinned down or anything. It's just, he takes that much damage. <laughs> He's still a level 11 or whatever the heck he is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Imagine if they turned him anyway, up to, um, to the 35. Randall's Vandal at 35. Something hard. Oh, that would hurt. It would be awesome. It would be hysterical. <laughs> um, so anyway, so yeah, so the prison village. So again, so the, the that room needs to be dialed back a little bit. And the <laughs> skull loss. The, or the fallen room in general. The spawn rate of everything is just, I think it's a little high. It gets so overwhelming. You know, I think, you know, the focus of these fights should be the fight, right? These boss fights should be the focus. You know, the boss should be the focus, not clearing out ads. And then occasionally you can take a pop shot on, on that guy. It's Right. Man, it's so, so overwhelming. No, I, I completely agree. It's just... Like, the amount of yellow bars that come out, captains and servitors. Servitors, I feel like, are worse. 
Because the Centaurs seem to they're take worse, more they're, damage. They're, they can tank, and their crit spots aren't that helpful. They're not really all that great. No, and that's the thing. It's like, if I take out my 365 found verdict, I can I can kill uh, a captain in, like, probably, like, four shots. Yeah. A uh, servitor, I'll empty my, my shotgun and then reload, fire off some more rounds, and you'll still be sitting there laughing at me. Yep, still sitting there, rapid firing into your face. Yep. Um, so it, I think you know, especially you know that skull loss encounter. You know, we had it. We didn't. I don't. I don't. I didn't see any yellow bars when we were doing that encounter, other than him. I think the captains that came out, they were all um, regular, normal red bar captains. Uh, granted, they're still freaking captains, but but yeah. Um, just the sheer amount, just the sheer number that come out during that fight. It's it's almost impossible. Um, it takes a very, very good, and I'm going to say it, a very lucky team to get through. Um, I mean, it's sure, don't get me wrong. Uh, there are going to be the, the PV, PVE bosses out there invigorate Data and their crews. Well, even Data's group um, has kind of talked about how hard these encounters are. And when his group talks about it, you know there's something wrong. Yeah, because they, they did. When Captain White Knight never chooses an encounter, plays everything, does challenge modes. When he says they're hard, you've got to start thinking about something. Yeah, M Mr. I went through the raid blindfolded. <laughs> blindfolded, right? You know, when his group says, eh, it's a little challenging, you know that it's, which, which, however, makes me feel good when we beat the, when we, when we beat it, like, oh man, oh man, this is a legit hard challenge. So it makes you feel pretty good that you, but we've cleared it twice. Yeah. Um, when, when, the, with the solar and the arc. Um, it's just uh, you just can't you can't ever lay damage on the bosses. Can't, and same thing with that Vex encounter. If you actually go through the Chronovore challenge, um, yeah, right. I haven't. It yet takes to do forever. It. I, if you don't, if you don't just burn him down outright, um, it takes forever because those little I guess the the, the little ghost goblins are um, they're kind of glitchy. They 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 hardly ever come out. So you never get the jailbreaker perk, and you just die. Right. Which they were, they're already, Bungie's already starting to realize that, right? This latest patch that came out, they dialed that stuff back. They fixed, um, they reduced the damage that the detain does. Um, so I think they're starting to realize, like, oh, okay, maybe we, maybe we overcooked it a bit. Yeah. Uh, quick little thing. Where is Doc 13? It's some, it's somewhere around That's here. where, um, that's where, uh, it's up top here. Um, okay. That's where you go to open up the thing, right? All right, I'll follow you. Cause Isn't it up here where you uh, you go and you open up the the that one mission where you you open up the satellite dish? Uh, possibly. I do not know. All right, but yeah, no. Prison of Elders, like uh, they just made it so ungodly difficult that it's like you're either one pro gamer. Two, have lots of time on your hands. Or three, <laughs> yeah. you're left in the dust. Yep, so, yeah. So, so I think that's about all we're going to talk about on, on, on that. We're going to go on to the next one. But I, I, on that note, though, I am, I do like it. I am having fun with it. I just think it needs to be dialed back just just a little bit. Just a skosh. I'm getting ready to die. Just a skosh. Just dial it back just, just a little bit on some of those rooms. Because the encounters are just... Super intense. Am I not running? I'm running into a wall. I guess. I think you're still downstairs. Yeah, you're totally okay. still downstairs. Yeah, I am still downstairs. I was, I got lost for a split second there. Um, so that's that. So let's tell me about trials because I've only done trials once. I did it the first week. Haven't done it since. Um, I was out of town last weekend, and <laughs> but it looks it still looks awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't think I'm ever going to get to the lighthouse, which I'm okay with that. Um, <laughs> I really want to get you to I've, the I've kind of I really do. I've accepted the fact that I'll never get there. Um, I, uh, but it's fun. It seems really cool and really well done. Um, I love it. I love the intense kind of game modes. Um, I think that's, to me, that's super fun. I love being like, oh my god, what are we going to do? Uh, you know, it, it reminds me of Search and Destroy or Search and Rescue. I guess it's more like Search and Rescue um, yeah. in Call of Duty. So it makes you just play that much smarter, which I, I enjoy that. I, I, I although I you know I'm not an all-out slayer, so I don't always 
kill everybody. Where the heck am I going? I don't know. Um, you but I do, I do love the, <laughs> I do, <laughs> I do love the added challenge um, that you get from it. Now this is the complex, so this is the wrong area. I don't know where Doc Thirteen is. I don't know, but uh, yes, <clears throat> trials. Trials is. It's fun if you have the right team. The reason yeah. the reason I say yeah, that oh, no, is, 100%. is yeah, if you have one one player, one person that's on your team that is either constantly dying or just not or just simply not sticking to the plan, then it just you can't compensate for that. You, you, it's not like a raid where if one person dies, the five man can carry it. Like it's it's not one of those things. As soon as you're outgunned, you're outgunned, and that round is almost over unless you pull something out of your hat. Um, but when you do have well, a that, good and, team, it, and that's like prison too. Right. Yeah, keep going. It, that's what they've done with this this DLC though. They've made it very. Teamwork oriented, three per three man. Find your best players and go at it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, when you when you have a good team, you have a team that works well together. That's the thing. It's like you. It's not even that you're all like god gamers and go through and stuff like that. It's just you need three people that work well together. That's the, that's the big right. big piece because if you get that, <clears throat> if you get that cohesion, then you're fine. You can make it through. You might not get all the way to the lighthouse, but you'll get your eight wins. Like, uh, me. But it's, it's only, it's actually seven wins, right? If you get all the buffs. Yeah. Seven. Yeah, it's seven if, uh, if you get all. Actually, no, it's six. Well, you can buy mm -hmm. one and your other one counts as double. As double, so. so. It's nine, so that's nine. Oh, yeah, seven, so seven. Seven, sorry, yeah. So, yeah, seven wins. Uh, which you can do that. It's not. It's difficult, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to say it isn't, but it's, if you have the right team, it's it's fun. But when you're paired up with people that, like, you're just trying to, uh, you're just trying to carry somebody through, you're not, you're probably not going to make it unless you're really, really good at it. Um, but, <clears throat> but it, it, it's fun. I like it. And the rewards... Are worth the the frustration of doing it. It's worth the cost. Well, yeah, you, and you've got so you made it to the lighthouse. So tell us about the lighthouse for those of us who, who haven't been there and probably won't ever get there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse is uh, it's a blast. It's really entertaining. There's a really cool uh, cinematic every time you go there. If you guy getting dropped off by your ship, and if you're running the level 35 queen's ship uh level, th level 35 prison elders like queen ship thing your uh your bottom spike goes through the ground which is really entertaining because both of those things came uh -huh. out in the same dlc so you figured they would have like realized that but you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna touch on that too much um but it's a really cool cinematic where you get dropped off and you kind of looks at the sun blocks his eyes for a second and lets his eyes adjust and it's really it's really cool because the sun is just like boiling the world, um, and when you when you're freed up, it's the equivalent. Like it, when you're walking around, it feels like as if you had arc blade on, but with no gun, no arc blade, no nothing. So like the third person, but not entire, not like the the social area third person. It feels different. I don't know. It could just be me. But if you, it it, gotcha. feels, it feels like the like you're running around with arc blade without an arc blade. Let's go to the moon. All right. Um. Um. So that's pretty awesome. We've got a and we'll put your video. Uh, you've made a video for us on our YouTube channel, and we'll put a link to that in the description right here, so um, you guys can check that out. We'll build a little card that'll pipe here right across right across our heads. <laughs> go check it out. It, it looks awesome. Uh, I mean, you know, and you open it up, and that's that's where you get the um, the emblem, and you can now get what's the I guess the patch. It's a you can actually you know keep it if, even if your emblems are full. Yeah, because it, um, it used to be that the uh, 
when you went there, if your if your emblems were full, the exotic emblem would not go to you, and it wouldn't go to the uh, postmaster either. Yeah, which was kind of lame. Yeah, for those who got there and who might not ever get there again, <laughs> it screwed it up. Um, so there's that, but that's also the only place where you can get the at the adept. Um, primary weapons, right? So the, all, the, all the ADEP versions of the primary weapons from Charles of Osiris have an elemental burn on it, which is random, and you've gotten a couple of them so far, and you're you were, you were pretty, uh, were making review videos for it that were thrown up on our channel. And so tell us about you know kind of how those how those things work. Uh, it's really it's really cool. When you go out, when you get there, you go and you go to the chest. The chest has this big like unlocking thing. That it does, it opens it looks up. Looks like the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, no, it's really cool. When you get the weapons, uh, a lot of them have active radar, which is really useful. Obviously, you know this is all PVP drops. Um, it's the first time I went, I got which I have. A, we have a video up for. Um, first time I went, I got the Void Jewel of Osiris. Uh, which the which I love. I absolutely love the Jewel of Osiris. It's a fantastic hand can, and I actually have a review on it already. Um, and then I think my that was the first week. I only got there once the first week. Uh, the second weekend I got there three times. Um, That's awesome. And the first time I went, I got the scout rifle. Uh, which is, do I have it on me? Oh, the scholar? Is it the scholar? Yes, the scholar. I actually just equipped it. Um, the scholar. And it, it's a really good scout rifle, and I'm going to put a review on this later. Um, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, I got, the first time, I, like the, for, when I went there, the first time I got there was the first scholar. Then I got the, uh, the messenger, the uh, depth pulse rifle, and then I got another scholar, which was a different burn. So I have, I have an arc scholar and I have a solar scholar. That's pretty awesome. So you I mean you got the two main ones, and you've got the void primary. So you're pretty much set. Yep. I just need to finish awesome. to finish off the group. I need a. Adept auto rifle. Summoner. Yep, the summoner. Yeah. And uh, then what I'd really like to get is a solar uh, jewel of Osiris. Like that. That would be. Oh, I could see that. That would be awesome. That'd be cool. Because That'd be helpful. you have Fate Bringer, so you have the arc handle. Right. And then I got the. Uh, I got the void one, so I I'd like to get the solar one, just to complete the usefulness, you know what I mean? Complete the set there. Yeah, of course, run it all out. But I'm hoping to be able to do that this weekend. Uh, get there and get one of those. Get Well, get both of those. Get the solar jewel and the, uh, the summoner. I'm not entirely... I don't really care too much about the, uh, what burn I get for the summoner. Um, but... Just to have one. Yeah, just to have one. But... I do have to say, for a PvP auto rifle, and I'm not fond of auto rifles in PvP after they nerfed them, <clears throat> I'm kind of surprised. Like I, I'm actually, I actually kind of like it, which that's that's the word in the street. Yeah. Yeah, which I'll put again. I'll I'll make a quick I'll make a quick review video on that and post that up there shortly. But uh, yeah, no, I I I like it. I do. Nice. So so let's talk about that. So we're talking about completing uh you know getting all these different versions of guns and that's going to bring us to kind of the next kind of uh part of prison of elders is there's no space for anything mm -hmm. not only is there so much to do and you don't have time to do any of it now <laughs> you have all these different guns you've got the queen's guns you've got the prison of elders guns you've got trials guns and you've got just all the new vendor guns then you've got all the new armor gear uh, the new exotic Iron guns. Banner updated the way all their gear how all of it looks now you gotta go get all new sets of that you gotta get all the new and, and with prison of elders uh, they made it so stupid in my opinion 
you've got all these different versions of their gear. So now you've got ones that, you know, you have to figure out do you want to have all three helmets or all four helmets for one for each enemy type. And that gives you the bonus when you stand on one foot and shoot a cabal in his right toe while holding one eye closed and and juggling apples with your opposite hand. And holding a pink hand cannon. Yep. Can't be a blue hand cannon, it has to be a pink hand cannon. And then maybe you have a chance to spawn a stole for it. Yep. You know, that's that's the kind of the ridiculous, by the way. That, if you didn't get the complete sarcasm on that, they need to have guns that are way more, or armor pieces that are way more useful. You know, if you're going to give us Cabal, make it all Cabal. Make it so that if it's a Cabal, it's a, if it's a Cabal Nightfall, I could put that helmet on and be useful. Yeah. You know, make it make it helpful. Not like right now, in this these things are just not helpful. Yeah, not in this very, very specific situation. It might be kind of helpful. It's like, no, no. I'm, I'm going to run a different gear set then, if that's going to be how it is. Because I want to be able to set it and forget it. You know, there's already a million things I'm trying to think about, let alone making sure I've got the right helmet on. Um, so anyway, that's something that I, I, that's a quick gripe about that, those helmets. And then you've got all the different burns on all the, on all the new guns that are also random. They're not specific. So you have to like grind out to get the, get the right one. So you don't get stuck with shank burn or freaking vandal burn or the one that has a chance to make a captain not teleport. If you get him before he teleports already, because it's already super annoying. Yep. Um, <laughs> I mean, so far the best two options I've seen are the one, the one that I've got on my fusion rifle that does damage to all fallen, and then there's another one that does, it kind of stuns the captain, as opposed to disables his ability. I'd rather him not move and not shoot me than stop him from teleporting. Right. Because the teleporting isn't really that annoying, because usually you're fighting him in open combat, like... Usually, he can't really get away too much by teleporting, because they don't go very far. It's not like the Vex who teleport cross-map. Cross-map on your face. Yeah, that's pretty pretty lame. So those are some of the things we've, that we've liked about Prison of Elders, some of our gripes we've got. Same thing with Trials. Um, we've all been pretty happy with it, I think, so far. I mean, I enjoyed it when I was there. I just don't have the time to, to grind that out. And, and, you know, it is so important to get mixed with the right people. Otherwise, you're just not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, with both of those instances. Yep. Um, so it, it, I think they've definitely, like, as you said, they really brought out the fact that you need to have a good, solid team. Um, so let's see what other things we can talk about. Um, they've fixed the keys. They've made the keys a less of a pain, which is awesome. Uh, they've, they've taken the grind out of that. They took out the sparrow racing, though. We, we, they gave us sparrow racing for about two weeks, and then they took it away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which was it was pretty fun. I mean, it was kind of fun to seeing a chain of sparrows running back and forth on these certain missions and uh, trying to see how many times you can get these keys. But that's fine. I don't mind that they nerfed that. That's whatever. As long as they increase the drop rate and we're still getting the keys, that's that's perfectly fine with me. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 grand. Um. What else? What else can you think of that we got going on? Uh, we went over trials. We went over prison. Going over mm -hmm. patch notes. We got E3 coming. If we want to jump out of Destiny. Oh God. Whatever that's E3. worth. Did you play? Oh, so Fallout 4 just released their trailer. Did you ever play any of those games? I, I, I never actually games. played any Fallout's. Like I've heard, I had friends who played it. I had a lot of people who absolutely loved the Fallout games, but I just I never really got into it. There was, there was always, like, Halo or something that I was, like, investing 90% of my time into. Yeah, so, I don't know. I've got really nothing on it. I don't really know. I just know the trailer's out, and there it is. Bethesda's got it, and so there it is. Um, so you mentioned Halo. I don't know if you've been... You started out doing that series. I don't know if you've been listening to those uh, audio files anymore, but they are getting good. I've been listening to them every Sunday, and they are getting really good. Yeah, I've been trying. I've been trying to keep up with it. It's a lot of intel that I already know because I'm, I'm part. I know the Halo mm, universe, the, but then like not the recent ones. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is now like real time stuff. Like a lot of like yeah, the beginning, up. The beginning yeah. stuff was all like recap things and things we already intel we already knew. But he was first finding out and such. But uh, but yeah, uh, a lot of it now is uh, new intel. Which I'm actually, I'm actually kind of happy with, uh, and I'm kind of excited about. Uh, which, granted, we we know it's all it's all hype for the uh, for the new game, 
well, obviously, it's all advertising. Um, so they're not going to give us any kind of uh, any kind of resolve with any of the stuff uh, until the game comes out. And we figure it out for ourselves. We, we spend that sixty bucks. Uh, um, yeah, I, I, I might I might do it. I I did think I was gonna do it. It's possible. I might actually do it. It seems. I mean, the story that they're setting up is pretty darn cool. Um, and I'm not going to spoil anybody, you can go find it, we'll put a link in the description to go to go find the Hunt the Truth, and you can go kind of like experience those little audio files on your own, but man, it's um, it's pretty slick, the story they've got set up that, you know, Master Chief, he goes in and kills all these people, like wait, maybe he wasn't killing these people, maybe he did it, but he was saving somebody, and so they've got this whole thing wrapped up now, and, um, it's pretty awesome, so, for a guy like me, again, he never played any of the Halo games and has no backstory to it. Um, it's pretty slick. I, I, it kind of makes me want to go back and replay it and just, just to get the storyline dialed in so I know all, what all is happening. But, but no. Man, if you if you uh, pick up the Master Chief Collection, man, I will play every single game with you. <laughs> maybe maybe we'll do that. Maybe that will have to happen. Maybe I'll go down to Best Buy and find a used copy of it or something. But you know, it has to be not broken. Whatever that, that, that company is, they got to get their craft together. Yep. But yeah, so we've got um, Taken King, right? That's that's the big rumored thing that you know Bungie they do have a slot at E3. Um, everybody's pretty stoked to see what we're going to hear about for for the Taken King. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think so too. To see yeah. what the what the, what the universe is going to have next. Yeah, no, I'm. Kind and of then sad. there was a thing on Reddit where there's like a um, like a packaging from these Red Bull cans that are going to be released with Flame Sword from Optic. Um, because he was a big Halo guy, and um, but there's like you can go get um, uh, there'll be like there's like a like a promo promo deal with uh, Red Bull, and you'll get like a special mission or something weird if you go buy the right cans of Red Bull. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, with like the Taken King symbol on it, and I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. It's Reddit. You never know. You never know what you're gonna get with the Reddit. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we see something from Mass Effect. I'm really hoping that they get something out there. I want that so bad. Um, be kind we've of already cool. been told that we're not going to get the division, right? That's, uh -huh. uh, that's been. I know. I'm so kind sad. Of sad. I'm so sad. No division. They pushed it back again. Uh -huh. Which, granted, I want them to do it they right. Did. I want them to do it right. I want it to come out good. Yes. You know, like I want them to rush it just because they want to meet the deadline, I, which you know I I completely 100% agree with, but. I still want to play the game. <laughs> oh, but I want to play. I think that game, I mean, from what I've read on it, and as big and as huge as they're trying to make that game, they're going to need to be able to, I mean, it's got a lot to do. There's a lot of moving pieces with what they're trying to build with that thing. Right. Much like Destiny. I mean, there's just so much that they're trying to do with it um, that I think it's good to get it right and get it dialed in. Um, so that's, I don't know. I don't know what else is going to be going on at E3 that I'm going to be super excited about. Um, they are, Microsoft said that they're going to be, oh, it's been the worst that, that they're going to be announcing a new controller. So they're finally making a controller where you don't have to put this stupid uh, headset jack in. If it has it built in. Like, you know, they should have done it in the first freaking place instead of taking the money grab. Oh, no, they wanted the money grab. Yeah, that's that's a bit disappointing, Microsoft. Way to, way to, way to, way to do that. Oh, this thing only has six seconds to go. What the crap? Lame. Yeah, no. This so much for that. Uh, oh wait, it's still going. All right, welcome back and Stan. Is it still moving? It's still moving. It's yeah. Still moving. I think it might have tweaked out a bit. That's interesting. Hmm. All right. Um. So, I'm trying to think what else we got going on. That was really it. That's kind of all the stuff I had to have written down for our various let's talks that we never actually got to. Um, what do you think of the new strike, the new Tannic strike? Uh, I like it. Shadow yeah, Shadow Thief. I do too. I like I, it. I think but... it's pretty slick. Yeah. Um, it's nice. It's, it's pretty short, which is good. I don't mind that being short. Um, I wonder if we just can't leave the circle now that it's at zero. I'm not going to leave. You all can leave. I'm not gonna yeah, leave. I'm not going to sure. Um... It sure 
through. I like that he actually takes damage. Huh, we got it. Yeah, that's I like that, you know, when, when you had on the goal, when you would see her throughout the mission, you would shoot her, and she would take damage, she would leave, and then she would come back full health. <laughs> right, and that's the thing. She didn't even, like, fully leave, though. She just took a couple okay. of steps back. And it's just, it's like, you're kidding me, right? Come on. But yeah, Tanix actually so did, takes damage the entire time. Yeah, he and he goes immune after a while, so I'm, I'm sure they just adjusted um, his damage levels. Because once you hit him at a certain part, then he then he goes immune. And, so I'm sure they might have adjusted his um, his hit points, but that's fine. Either way, you feel like you, either way, you still feel like you actually did. You know, shooting him at that point makes you feel like you're doing something. Yep. No, and I agree. I, don't know, I, think, I agree. I feel like they did a good job with it. And I'm just going to go ahead. I mean, we have absolutely no affiliation with Bungie. We're not. Our channel's so small, nobody cares about us. But <laughs> oh, I hope somebody cares. Whatever, they've, they've done. History, please care about us. Please care. They've done an absolute excellent job of you know patches, taking care of their fan base, taking care of everybody. I mean, the numbers that they were touting after the House of Wolves dropped were huge numbers. I mean, pre-Christmas, I mean, we're talking Christmas Christmas numbers that they were talking about, um, people playing the game. It's nuts, uh, which that's awesome. I mean, they have a game that's almost a year old and still have this uh, you know, a strong player base. I mean, they're doing something right. They're doing something that not a lot of games have figured it out or they you know that they've tried and they've failed. Right, um, especially for a console you, game. You know, you, yeah, for a for yeah for not WoW right for not World of Warcraft right that's the thing it's like um, well, like all the MMOs like the big MMOs yeah the fan base like some fan bases continuously grow every year, um, but for console games there's that big big push when it's released there's sometimes the Christmas push but then it trickles off and dies after a certain amount of time because there's just not enough and there content are no more updates. Yep. I mean, Call of Duty, huge freaking franchise. Also Activision, just like Bungie. Um, but they they just, you know, you'll get, how many patch notes do we get with Ghost, right? We got like, what, four or five uh, patches throughout the whole? Yeah. <laughs> what killed you? I fell off the map. Um, we got like four or five patches throughout the whole entirety. And basically, the only time we ever got patches is when the pro players complained about some game, some gun was OP, and so they fixed it for them. That was really, really literally the only time we ever got patches. Yep. They never fixed the 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 bomb defuse glitch. They never fixed a lot of things that needed to happen. You know, take um take uh, Modern Warfare 2 with one man army noob tubes. They never fixed that. I mean, that Modern Warfare 2 yeah. could have been the greatest Call of Duty of all time if they just would have fixed one man army noob tubes. Yeah. Nope, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered with it. You you already paid for the game, deal with it. Is their mentality. We're already we got our money, we're out of here. So that's one thing that I think Bungie has done an amazing job in cultivating the communities and, and keeping you know, keeping people happy, which is basically what they did, Wolves of Rally. Um, with this pat with, with, with House of Wolves. They're like, Okay, what we're just gonna give everybody everything they ever wanted within reason and we're gonna just make everybody complete it. Here, 365 Fate Bringer, have it. We said we were gonna bring the, we said the Vex was locked in time, screw it, you can have it. Reforged weapons, sure, why not? You can have it. Yep. <laughs> I mean, you want, you want to build yourself the most OP weapons out there, why not? Vault Space, we'll give you some of that. Yeah, the one, the one thing I mean, that I basically... wish they had done. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, they gave us everything we wanted. They did. Practically. Well, um, Sparrow Racing so, for a short time. <laughs> we, we even had Sparrow Racing for about a hot minute. Um, so I think they've done a good job. Kudos for them. Thank you. We appreciate it. And you know, you're you're building a, a great customer base with this, which they you know they know what you're doing. They 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 know numbers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but either way, um, it's glad to see that they're working on it. And speaking of you know Bungie and them caring, I don't know if you saw the update. It came up about yesterday, but they raised over a million freaking dollars for um, the Nepal um, earthquake relief. Oh, really? Like I knew that was going to be. Dollars. I knew that Activision was going to be big. Activision kicked in but... extra. 
yeah, Activision kicked in an extra 50 grand. Um, so I haven't got my shirt yet. Apparently shirts are shipping out. I'm hoping to have mine. When it gets here, I'll, I'll throw it up on the internet on our channel. You guys can check it out. Um, it's a little late to order one now, but it's um that was cool and I, that was well done. And I hope that the money, you know, they they, they work with a group that does direct relief. Um, so that that was one of the things that kind of made me happy. You know, you, you always wonder when you're donate when you donate money to charity groups, like where's it actually going? And you know, I, I did some research on it because I wanted to see where my money's going. And it, it seems like they've got oh geez, I spawned in. That was stupid. It's all good. Um, I spun in there. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, the day did a. Uh, the day they're going. It's going to do. The money will be. We'll get to the people who need it. So that, that's 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 quite cool. Yeah. No. I'm. Uh -huh. I'm very happy about that. Uh, it's actually going to where they said it was going to be going. Uh, oh, why won't you just die? Um, so yeah, I think that's about all we got. That's about all I have. I don't think yeah. you have anything else. No, I think we covered everything I wanted to cover. Uh, um, again, apologize for the, the fact that we haven't done one of these in so long. We've tried several different ways and we've failed every single time. Uh, it's and over here. Get the whole Thomas Edison. I found it. It's over by me. Okay. So we don't need... I didn't fail a million times. I just found a million times how not to make a light bulb kind of thing <laughs> right so hopefully if this works and it works out pretty well then i think maybe we we'll just keep doing it this way i feel like yeah this, uh, we'll this see, could we'll work see out if twitch allows us to do it and then maybe we'll turn this into a bigger community thing with our with our other committed gamers out there you can join in and when we make it a kind of a regular broadcast uh session so you all can kind of have a no one will be doing it and join in and come and hang out with us do some questionnaires and stuff like that like pose your Pose your questions ahead of time. We'll pick some, maybe uh, go through them, that kind of stuff. Yeah, so many chats. So anyway, so I think this has been good. This has been fun. Um, how long has this shindig been lasting? I don't know. Five even, days. Uh, five days, yeah. It's going to be a mega long video. I have no idea. Like, we've been talking for quite some That's time. Good. We've gone to multiple planets, you know. <laughs> it's all good. Well, all right. Well, I think that's all I had. Um... Anything else? You think you said you're good? No, I'm good. All right, cool. Well, thanks for tuning in. I'm Flu5311. And I'm Soul Slayer. And to all you gamers out there, stay committed. <laughs>